Well, okay, so Galaxy has 180 ping and Gamma has 140 ping. That's that's quite good. I think that's better than someone having 40 ping and someone having 120. I mean, Gamma has 55 to 60 or 70, but let's say like 65 or 60. And then Galaxy has a solid 120. So I think that's... Um, well, actually, no, does Galaxy have 100? I'm not even sure. But I think that that's good. I think both both of them are above 100. I think that's pretty good. Let's go, let's go. Okay, so no one self-destructed. Six in mid. They have to be careful, though. You know, th there's not too much pride. There's the sixes, you know, it's quite interesting. Some floating going on here. You know, what I'm really curious to see about this mode is if Gamma's speed can triumph over Galaxy's floating. I want to know which... I, it should be balanced. That's the thing. Okay, Galaxy misclicked. That was bad on him. I just... I feel like Galaxy has a lot of advantage in the early game, and then he loses all of that advantage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's my face. It's true. Click the fuck. Click, click, click. But yeah, anyway, so Galaxy should have the, um, he should have the advantage in the start, and then Gamma should have the advantage in the late game where it becomes more, you know, uh, efficient tunneling and stuff, things like that. But a lot, the early game is just all about you know being able to float. But you know Gamma does have a very strong float. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see. I definitely like that. You know the stages have been slowed slowed down from what they were. You know it means that you know players have a more of an incentive to try to do significant damage in the first and second stages rather than just waiting for the next stage to pop and then just playing for speed yeah. it feels more strategic this way okay here we go so we go to the second stage and what do they expand surprised that no one went for the 17 but it is kind of exposed oh, you know very uh very middle of the road expansion very safe i would say actually oh gamma does go for the 17 that might be dangerous with the flow over him and also galaxy just has a ship ship lead so he understands that the map slowly opens up i'm pretty sure gamma's seen stages before but he probably hasn't he hasn't seen this version of stages How is that fast, dude? Okay. Anyway. Okay, no one drops a cap, but then Galaxy was down in prod. Interesting. I wonder if... Hmm, uh, now nah, he just lost that in expansion. And a 16 was kind of just a little bit too far. Couldn't really be taken easily. Very nice and safe start here. You should be able to take every planet. I think the first person to go into the 21, yeah. Galaxy gets the 21 first, but Gamma has the float. Uh, but it's going to be a while until he can actually make up for the ship difference here. But he does get the cap. Still doesn't go for the 21. Goes for some more floats. Now he goes for the 21. Uh, I think Galaxy should still be ahead in ships, but he's down in tempo. So Gamma has a... Mm, actually, he doesn't even have a larger float on him, to be honest. Okay, second stage. Just a free 9, I guess. And then that kind of... It's, it's a very safe map. So that 29 should be... You know, anyone should be able to take that 29. Galaxy decides to go for the early aggression. Or earlier aggression. And then take the 29 second. Gamma is... he's He's been down in ships the whole match. But... 
it really depends yeah it depends on what that float does and that float did a lot of damage but gamma doesn't land keeps his float does get a cap off but he's like he's in the red now he can't make any mistakes he has to wait for the second stage but i think the second stage is still probably about 30 seconds away or the third stage sorry and it just looks like he is slowly losing control of this game but he does have a nice float this the the planets are acting as some sort of terrain it really depends on what these middle planets are going to be or not the yeah well yeah it depends on what the middle planets are going to be but yeah no gamma is so far down in ships he can hold on he said he's not going to surrender oh and they were 27s anyway so he couldn't really contest them any chance we get to add this option for a, a limb uh phil doesn't like a limb um i'll probably show him this I'll probably show him this and hopefully he's interested in it and adds it to the game like King of the Hill, but I don't think it's going to happen. Can we? Okay, interesting that none of them go for that 12 right off the bat, but I mean, I guess all the terrain would slow you down and kind of force you to be uh, slower, but then maybe you could do some sort of content and Galaxy loses his home. That's huge. That was huge, but he does have the 14 to make up the difference. Gamma does misclick as well. And the thing about misclicks on this is that you don't like a misclick like that could mean that earlier, like, I'm sorry, later in the game that you end up taking that planet but in this you don't get that oh but it wasn't 11 anyway so i don't know they kind of were even the misclick plus not getting the 14 kind of made it even but the 26 is worth more but galaxy is just really bearing down on gamma here he just can't do anything it seems like with gamma being unable to just instantly win from speed and having to make basically take every game into the sky f f like floating it's just a lot harder for him but again he's never seen this mode before so there's also that to take into consideration whereas galaxy has seen both iterations of this mode so you know i wonder i wonder about taking that one you know because galaxy did take the other 21 i feel like i feel like uh, trying to contest the one on his side I don't I don't know it, it just seemed like gamma was already ahead galaxy had wasted I feel like he could have just pushed right across the map but I, I don't know I feel like taking that one because you know that you're not really gonna defend it made him lose momentum there I feel like he could have done a lot more damage with his attack you know had galaxy on the defensive the whole time and also he only has to wait 30 seconds until the um, the first round ends so there's also that as well but obviously you know stages is new to him so he wasn't really thinking about playing around the timing of the stages so but yeah i do think that 21 Galaxy with a lot of early game pressure, you know, I, I wonder, yeah, that 27 just kind of, it really messes up any, wow, that was a very nice cap from Galaxy, didn't even see those ships land, so it was a split bleat, but I didn't even see the ships land, <laughs> very nice.
I think it's like I can't, I can't even remember. Oh, this has definitely got Gamma's name written all over it. Galaxy does go for that 14. I, I wonder about that 14, though, because isn't it... You can take the 16. Oh, but Gamma goes for the 22. That's really weird. I would like to see him go into the 16 here. Let's see which one has more prod. I'm, yeah, so the 16 does have more prod. It's very fair, to say the least. Yeah, I don't know about that 22. But, that, but can he keep that mid? He can't keep that mid. Okay, here's where the okay, here's where we see a change. So he's gonna contest him on the seven, and I think that he should have really tried to grab one of these fives just off that cap, and he would have been in such a good position because right now he is just down, and those fives are just so free. I think taking that seven and then going immediately into a five would have been pretty, pretty crucial to coming back to this game. But Galaxy does keep losing that mid, but he's he is slowly taking away or getting ahead. It's just a numbers game here, yeah. I don't know why he, I, I don't know, that that 22 just, it, it was okay, but it wasn't ideal. I feel like the 16 was better. It was the better option if you take the 14 late. Okay, Gamma does go with the early 22, does take everything, but then again, Ga uh, Galaxy now has the float on him. I, you know, something we see time and time again. Interesting. I wonder what these mid planets are going to be. They're probably going to be cheap. Oh no. Okay, so the 17. Galaxy instantly takes the 20. And he's. Yeah, he's really got his float on Gamma. Gamma is getting absolutely just annihilated by that float. But he does. But he does manage to keep the pressure. You know, that's what, that's what it is about Gamma. Even though it looks like he's down, he just has that reinforcement time. Like, he just has that reinforcement time. And he's got Galaxy's number here, and it looks like it's all over. Oh, damn. Galaxy just couldn't max out fast enough. The floats did a lot of damage, but it just wasn't enough. Gamma just kept that prod lead. He kept the lead that he had. He, like, sacrificed all the lead that he had with the ships into that attack. That's just one thing about Gamma. Yep, yeah, and then, yeah. Oh, very tricky floating here. He does drop it, but it's not the end of the world. And he goes into the 21. I'm not sure. I don't think that 21 is good, right? Because Gamma could have just gone straight into the 30. But he decides to go for the 12, which is also good. Also completely fine. Yeah, the 12 does counter pretty much every, pretty much both of those planets. So, yeah. Kind of a desperation play there. Galaxy going for the 4. I do like it. But he doesn't get the five. Gamma's float is still very active. Galaxy's really struggling. <laughs> He's struggling here. But if he can just hold, if he can just hold onto Gamma's five, okay, he does drop it. Uh, now it's just a simple numbers game. If he maybe waits for the stages, uh, they just would have given him a free nine. But then Gamma would just take that nine immediately. And he loses the four anyway. So it's just over here. But this is very close, very even. Okay. So we're gonna play around mid with the homes being being vulnerable. Gamma skips to 12, goes into it late so he can get the early aggression. I do like that play. Okay. What Gamma needs to do is he needs to, yeah, that's exactly what he needs to do. He needs to get those ships away, but Galaxy's very good at reacting, at having an active defense. Okay, but Gamma does get a huge, huge advantage from that. The 11 is nice. Galaxy does get the 5. It seemed like Gamma was going to go for the 11 and he was going to stop him from taking the 11. But it just kind of all fell apart and Galaxy got the 5 for free. I really felt like Gamma was going to get that 11, but then, and he stopped him from getting his, his, his 11, but then he just kind of fell apart there. Very tricky. It's so funny when the maps when the map like reveals itself it kind of throws off people's strategy a bit. It makes them kind of forces them into a state of panic almost. I feel like that's what happened with Gamma here, but obviously I won't know.
Okay. Galaxy way ahead here. He gets the he gets the prod and the attack and the early attack. But Gal I mean Gamma does get the first um, cap. Why do they have to have the same name almost? <laughs> oh god, but yeah. Galaxy does get a longer cap. But Gamma's home might be under threat here. Galaxy does get another cap. The 15 is up. Galaxy goes for it. Oh, but Gamma does get a cap here, but then he loses that. Okay, not taking that 15 is only gonna hurt him. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, but he does get the, oh, he does get the cap. He does get the cap and forces Galaxy into a losing state. That's crazy. I actually thought Gamma, uh, Galaxy had that. That was so delayed. Okay. Oh, it's very scary. Very tricky. You both want the six and you both want to bait the other person into it. This might be one of those ones where... Okay, no, Gamma does go for his six, and he stops Galaxy from taking his. Interesting, Galaxy goes for the eight, but Gamma is still there. He's definitely going to take the six. Gamma does not redirect and gives him the four for free. Oh, you know Galaxy's gonna take the 15 early, and now Gamma is just behind, but okay, it seems like Galaxy's gonna lose his home here. Oh my God, very, such a crucial misplay from Galaxy. Can he get it back? I don't think he can. Oh no, oh God. Oh, wait, wait, he does get it back. Okay, we're back in this. But that is a huge, huge loss of momentum from Galaxy here. But he still hasn't got the four. Gamma really should think about getting the four here. But he's just pressuring on. I, I don't know if Galaxy's going to lose his home again. It seems like Gamma's going to lose his home, if anything. But the float does go past. And oh my god, Gamma is bearing down. Galaxy, what the hell? Are you not reading these ships correctly? Okay, it seems like... Oh, but then he misclicks. Oh, no. That is so unfortunate. Galaxy, I... Oh, I just... Yeah. Gamma doing gamma things, going straight into that 21. Galaxy has to float this. Oh, my God. He's going to go and expand late. But it might be fine, because that is a pretty big float. And this is a pretty hard defense. The terrain is not helping the maneuverability of these ships. And there we go. That's what Galaxy is good at. Getting those floats, getting those caps, and keeping the pressure. Gamma cannot do anything here. This seems like it should be a galaxy victory here. That mid planet is just dropping, but the nine and... Oh, okay, galaxy goes for the 23. That seems fine. Gamma goes for the nine. I, I don't know what galaxy's doing right now. He's kind of just stopped playing the game. Giving Gamma a, a momentum, giving him his momentum back, but it, it feels like Gamma should be dead here. Ah. These are some very tough matches. Gamma knows that he's done. He really shouldn't have survived longer, but Galaxy just kind of froze. But he does manage to get through to the next game. And now they're just gonna wait because uh, Gamma is texting. Eight and nine. Have you ever seen a score so close between these two? Oh god, that was a definite mid, but mid is not necessarily the end here, but that float from Gamma is the end of Galaxy. Um, Galaxy cannot do anything here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh god, zeros? I thought I got rid of zeros, but okay. Um, gonna have to look into that. I thought that there were no zeros. Um... We haven't got zeros in a long time, but I'm pretty sure I coded zeros out of this. But anyway, it, it is what it is. Galaxy just, you know, dominates here with his float. Really, Gamma is struggling to deal with Galaxy's float like the rest of us now. It just, you know, I don't want to say ping advantage, but there is a clear difference in Gamma's ability to defend Galaxy's float on the custom versus, uh, versus uh, on Phil's. But Gamma just, again, is just able to see through it. He's able to read Galaxy and just see through it and just come out on top every time. It's so interesting <laughs> because it seems like Galaxy is just way ahead. 
but he just doesn't have the momentum, the pressure. And obviously that four is just so strong here. Not really sure why Gamma took so long to take it. It really probably would have saved him. Now this has to be a Galaxy win, right? <laughs> Oh, wow. What a cap. That means Gamma has to defend his home. Because if the ships are somewhere, they're going to... Yeah. Ex okay. Wow. He managed to hold that. Oh, my God. Galaxy is pissed. Okay. Bit of a late start there by Galaxy. Oh, they do cap everything. It's like... It's so interesting because it's closer. Gal I mean, Gamma can actually just go across the map and kind of can just shrug off Galaxy's floats. But also, those early floats are so dangerous because the distance is less. So it's like, it's, it's interesting. Galaxy just doesn't want to have the same prod or less prod than Gamma. I think that is the play here. He just always wants to just stay ahead, get a float, cap, max, you know, get another planet or something like that but gamma is really just oh he's very he's being very tricky with his floats he's really stopping galaxy from being able to focus on him and he's getting these caps oh man oh it was a cap on the home the six is open okay is the 19 gonna come into play here it's so off it's it's just Oh, it's just shy enough. Like, who, if you can catch it and you don't get immediately punished, you get it for free. But if you can't punish... Oh, he goes for the 14. Does that mean Galaxy's going to go for the 19 here? No, he does just go for the 14 again. And he gets a very nice hold on that planet. It could be anyone's game right now. I'm not sure. I do like... I do like him not landing this. Okay, he does hold it. And he manages to keep that planet longer as Gamma hesitates on how to defend that. But he does get the home again. Oh, it seems like this is Galaxy's victory. Very interesting. Okay, he, he doesn't get the 23 first and he doesn't get um, a significantly early float. They both get the six at the same time though. Oh, Galaxy does get the home and keep the, and he kept the float alive just a little bit longer. It didn't really do anything, but interesting. I feel like the 26 is kind of free here, but you might probably, okay, nice cap. Oh no, but this is way stronger for Gamma. This is a kill. That is a kill. Yeah. Oh, God. It was a good cap, but he didn't have enough to take his home or do anything, whereas Gamma just basically tunneled through mid and finished him off. Oh, Galaxy's in a very kind of... Okay, he needs to just defend this planet. If he can defend this planet, he's won the game. Okay, Gamma does realize that, and now he's... Yeah, game. Okay, 11 and 15. Oh, 11 and 14, sorry. Galaxy is a little bit later. It does go into the early aggression, and he can because the planets are so cheap. Oh, this might be a bad trade, though, for Gamma. Well, it's kind of a bad trade for Galaxy, but because Galaxy was so far ahead, I think Gamma is still behind. Yep, and he does call the surrender. This is very hard. This is a very hard map. I think Gamma might want to... Yeah, he is going to lose. I think that, I don't think that this hold is worth it. But actually, Gamma does manage to stabilize. If he can get the home... Okay, he goes into the five. This is crazy. Oh, Galaxy does... <laughs> Galaxy wants to do the same thing. And he does get that. Oh, my God. I actually don't know whose game is it. Yeah, it feels like it's Gamma's. Gamma was just... Yeah. That was insane. Continue. Continue. I 
I just want to show the potential of this mode. I'm not really interested in the set score, to be honest. But it's like, it's so interesting because I'm pretty sure Gamma does like, Galaxy gets like obliterated like 15-7 or something like that. Something ridiculous in fills. But here it's like neck and neck. You know, the pings are so close. It just seems like both playstyles are fairly balanced here. Again, he goes with that strong flow into the 14, denies Galaxy anything. He doesn't need to do anything. He doesn't even need to land. He just needs to stop Galaxy from taking that 14, which is exactly what he's doing. Galaxy is literally just getting outplayed here. Oh my God. That was disgusting from Gamma. That was absolute torture. Okay, that is huge, but I think... Yeah, Gamma does lose it, but he does again. He has that massive fleet, but he's not doing anything with it. And Galaxy's just sitting. Oh, and he left. I think that was an accident. Yep, it was an accident, so he came back. Okay, good. Ooh, I don't know about 28. I th yeah, I think Gamma realizes that. I don't think that 28 was that good. I think it was kind of a too, too reactionary. Okay. They both take everything? Not really sure that they needed to. Oh no. Well, I guess it's kind of even actually. Oh, this is a very tricky map. All the expansion is kind of behind them. It would be interesting. Oh no, Galaxy has failed tunneling. This is the, this is this is it, you know, this is the problem. Can he get a float? Okay, well, <laughs> the stage pops and it doesn't really give anything other than the 16. No one is taking that 33. Ugh, no, Galaxy is just down. He does get a cap here, but I feel like he's running out of steam. I think that if he didn't get that cap, he would have surrendered. Gamma being very tricky with his float. Getting the caps here. Yeah, Galaxy is just... He, he can't. Okay, very interesting. Galaxy does, he gets a send out, but the send kind of hampered his expansion there. Okay, he does get a nice cap. Now he just needs to focus on not dropping, but he also can't focus too much on not dropping a planet here because... Because then Gamma would just, like, he would just keep spamming him with ships, right? And then, obviously, you know, the, the, the map pops. I think that's why he could have focused more. If he focused more on defense, then he could have gone straight into that 24 in it when it popped. So I think getting that first cap, focusing on defense, waiting for the map to pop, I think that would have been a better play there. Ooh, that is disgusting. Oh, Gamma is ahead here. He has the prod and he has the aggression. But I think he might drop that planet on the side. Oh, no, he manages to cap it. That is so unfortunate for Galaxy. Because now Galaxy has to deal with the float. And he's got a ship disadvantage from the expansion phase. Oh, no. But it was a relatively simple land from Gamma there. So he doesn't have to worry too much. He just needs to clear the next... Okay, he loses both planets. Um... Basically, he needs Phil to gift him some planets here. <laughs> the 19 is there, but obviously Gamma is going to take it straight away. And it, oh god, yeah, that ugh, dropping that two was just so so brutal. Oh, Gamma is speeding up, but this might be what changes it for, because he's not reading. I'm not really sure about Galaxy expanding here, but it might actually work because Gamma did take that 13, and that might be. Yep, yeah, he's got the trade. Damn, Gamma didn't read it properly. I'm not sure why. Yeah, he didn't take the 13, but I'm not sure why you would have even. Cause he kind of he kind of rushed from the start anyway. I I don't know. Oh, I 
Oh, God. Okay, Galaxy just killed himself, right? He has to lose here. Yeah, okay, yeah. He does have to lose here. I, I don't really understand that one. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. But then Galaxy gets two. He gets both mids for free. Really weird surrender from Galaxy there. He got both mids for free. He could have played for the second. I don't know. He could have played for the second phase. Kind of an early surrender. Oh, God. What a nice cap. What a cap. <laughs> what a cap. It was like just... It like had just the right timing. Oh, and Gamma does take the 25. He can't even go into mid now. He has to pray. I... Uh, Galaxy, why do you not take the second mid? I don't understand. Like, on Phil's, he plays for mid every fucking game. But then on the custom, he doesn't take the second mid. I, I don't understand. Very nice expansion from Galaxy, though. But he does lose all his pressure. Uh, he just needs to wait for this to pass. But the terrain is making it so hard to defend. Because, you know, you don't want to misclick, right? Because you don't even get anything for misclicking. It's not like, you know, maybe if you misclick, you can take that planet in the future. You just, it just doesn't give you anything. So you have to be really careful. Gamma is just, he's ahead. Galaxy does get a nice cap, but I think he's still down. Now it's time. Now it's time for Galaxy to do something. Have Gamma on the defensive, but he does kind of land a bit early there. I feel like there was a window just there to get the to get a planet, but maybe holding the defense. Yeah. Are they about to mirror? No. I think Galaxy came out ahead on that trade. That's a long cap. Yeah, Gamma sees the, he sees the position, but Galaxy is not. He's not saying it's over yet. Galaxy is always ready to just drop and land to make things even. And then you have the nine and the seven. It's kind of a frenzy. Who's gonna get the nine first? Gamma does try to. Uh, yeah, I Gamma does this. I not. I I'm not too sure about this. It is a nine that is worth ninety nine prod. Not sure you can contest that. Kind of through, but they were kind of even the whole time. Okay, Galaxy takes everything. Again, Galaxy is, you know, it, it's weird. They kind of swapped. It used to be Gamma who, you know, he takes the planets and then he has to wait for Galaxy to kind of land. But now it's Gamma who is getting the early attack in. And then Galaxy who takes all the planets, and then Galaxy has to wait for Gamma to land before he can start making aggressive moves. Okay, that 31. I see now. I don't know about that 31. See, that is so that's so difficult. And yeah, Galaxy is kind of peaking right now with his floating, splitting his fleets perfectly. Oh. Okay, it was a, it was a miss. It was a miss. Miss thing. I thought he wasn't going to come back. <laughs> okay, the 10. Okay. Yeah, the 5. It, it, you want the 5, but can you get it? Is the question. Gamma's going for it, but is he actually going for it? He is going for it. And Galaxy kind of just got outplayed. He just got outmentaled. I don't, I don't really understand that. I, I guess even like I was like, is he really going for it? But I don't know. But Galaxy's all over Gamma here because Gamma had to take the nine, but he can't really keep that planet. Or can he keep it? Oh, it looks like he is gonna be, he is gonna keep it the mid, but that's just so hard. And he gets a huge attack on the main cluster, and all he needs to do is just clean it up. And oh wow, very nice, very nice from Galaxy there. The nineteen just slowed down all Gamma's momentum. Ooh, tricky. Again, I don't know if you take the 23 here, right? Because if you're going to tunnel into each other, I, d I don't know. I don't know. I feel like the 23 doesn't really speed you up that much. Okay, yeah, taking the 27 is definitely necessary here. 
Going into the 16, yeah, and then your opponent is going to be sitting there waiting for you, and he's going to take the 10, but Gamma takes it anyway. He doesn't care. He says, you know what? I'm going to defend whatever you throw at me. I don't care. I want the, I, I want the prod lead. I'm willing to risk it. <laughs> so, oh, God. Galaxy does have the bigger float here. Gamma landed a bit too early. Galaxy still has a huge float over him. Okay, the fives, the fives come out. Basically free prod. Again, Gamma gets it. <laughs> gets it early. He's just running with this prod lead. Well, with his advantage from the start. He does misclick, but it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. If you don't land, it doesn't matter, right? Oh, nice cap from Galaxy there. Almost didn't get it back, but he does lose his 12. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> he does lose the 12. I didn't even notice that he expanded more. That's so unfortunate. Ooh. Uh, ah, this is so crazy. <laughs> this is bad. I think Galaxy's dead here. I think he loses his home. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. That was so. Oh, that was such a tricky one. That needs to be. There's, there needs to be some analysis on that. I can't explain why it was so tricky just off the fly. I have a. I have a like a fundamental idea, but I can't really word it right now. Yeah, I think this is one way you can just play for the second stage. To be honest, you know, it's quite easy to defend here. I mean, like, well, like the distance anyway. I feel like you just kind of float on your opponent and you watch. Okay, the 12s are huge. See, this is, that, that's again, yeah, straight into the 12. Gamma knows what he's doing. Straight into the 12. You deny Galaxy the other 12. Galaxy's going to try and punish, a, he's going to try and put it, punish a 100 prod 12. Not going to happen. So, yeah, taking that 33 was just an instant kill. Yeah. Oh, he said GG's. But yeah, that was very, that was great. As a, as like a trial or like, you know, whatever for this, I feel like those games were amazing. Yeah, I can't wait to show this to everyone.